To perform the test, you need oxytester instrument, specific pipettes and the reagent kit. Open the aluminum envelope using a cutter or the scissors. Take one test tube and put it into the incubation cell to warm it up. The test tube has to be kept in the cell for 3-5 minutes in order to let the reagent reach 37 Celsius degrees. Press number 1 on the keyboard to select the right well. Press enter to select acidity test on hexavirgin oil. Agitate the test tube and insert it into the reading cell to measure the blank value. Press enter. Then press the arrow up key. Now remove the test tube from the reading cell and put it in the rack to hold it. Open it paying attention to leave the cap with the internal part facing up without touching it with your hand. Take the sample of oil with the specific pipette provided for this test. Insert the tip of the pipette into the oil, press down and then release the piston. Using a strip of absorbent paper, remove completely the oil from the tip. Repeat again the procedure. Then take the sample for the third time. Now do not press the piston, but simply clean carefully the tip of the pipette with the paper. Do this operation keeping the pipette horizontal. Verify that all the oil that was outside the tip has been removed. Immerse the tip of the pipette into the test tube, press the piston 3-4 times and lift the pipette with the piston press not to remove part of the liquid with the tip. Close the test tube, agitate inverting it and put it in the reading cell. Press enter. The sample is read and the result is displayed immediately. The printing of the receipt starts. The ticket shows the date and hour, the name of the analysis, the two parameters K factor and the offset Q that define the calibration curve characteristics. Normal value for the analysis result, if defined, is shown. The code number of the sample is shown on the left, the unit of measure and the result on the right. Press Enter. In case another print is needed, press the arrow up key. Press the arrow down key to exit the analysis and press the key zero to go back to the main screen. Immerse the tip of the pipette into the test tube, press the piston 3-4 times and lift the pipette with the piston press not to remove part of the liquid with the tip. Close the test tube and agitate inverting it. Open it again. Open the small bottle containing reagent R2 and using the specific pipette take R2 reagent. Insert a tip inside the liquid before pressing the piston. Then lift the piston and move up the pipette slowly. Spray the liquid inside the test tube, pressing the piston energetically and without touching the liquid or the borders. Remember that to avoid the contamination of the R2 reagent, you should change the yellow tip if you're not sure that the tip is completely clean. Close the tube and agitate carefully. Put it into the incubation cell. Press Enter. The incubation starts. Once the countdown is finished, an acoustic signal will alert you. Agitate accurately the sample and put it in the reading cell. Press Enter. To perform the blank reagent procedure, press the arrow up key and refer to the specific video. Press Enter. The sample is read immediately. Press the arrow up key. The result is shown on the display and the printing of the receipt starts. The ticket shows the date and hour, the name of the analysis, the two parameters K factor and the offset Q that define the calibration curve characteristics. Normal value for the analysis result, if defined, is shown.